uh, you know, one guy who's played in this defense before. Where do you feel like the team is in terms of installation at this point? Uh, no comment. Okay. Um, where have you seen the team, you know, come along the most this spring? Uh, I think from an effort standpoint, they've been pretty good as a team. Uh, I feel like all the other stuff will come together once we get there from an effort standpoint and get everybody on board. So just continuing to improve in the effort uh, aspect of the game is something that's going to be critical to our success next year. How are you trying to help your teammates along with learning everything? Uh, I mean, for me, I feel like a great leader leads by example. Uh, I feel like a lot of people do all the leader stuff for the clicks and the glamour and things like that. But I like to lead by example. So I feel like me doing the right thing and showing these guys what should be done and how to do things right is something that really helps. Where do you think you've come the furthest from your time in Oklahoma last year compared to through this spring? Uh, just maturity. I mean, the transition from high school to college is definitely different. Uh, the speed of the game, just learning how to manage everything off the field and things like that. So I think that being more mature has really helped me come a lot further than I would have if I didn't. Making the transition to safety and playing more of that role, do you feel more comfortable playing too high or being in the box or being a single high guy? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty comfortable with it all. I don't really think there's one specific set of formation that I like more than the other. I don't even think there's a position that I like more than the other. So I just feel like I, I'll be best when I'm comfortable everywhere. Are there any aspects of playing safety that you've gotten to enjoy more than what you got to do at corner? Uh, I get to track the ball a lot more. You know, at corner when you lock a guy down, you lock a guy down, you're much less likely to get the ball thrown your way. So just being in the right spot at safety and have your eyes correct is something that I really look forward to. Have you learned anything about your game as a player playing so many different spots? Uh, I'm a lot more versatile than a lot of people that play this position. Uh, I feel like a lot of these DBs nowadays limit themselves to playing one position, but I don't feel like I fall in that category. I feel like I can play anything in the secondary. So. Is it difficult to you know align your eye discipline and what you're doing at corner versus at safety? Uh, I mean, you're aligned differently, so to a certain extent, but I've gotten the hang of it. What do you see from Makai so far this spring? Uh, I mean, God, guy's great. Uh, he has great ball skills. He's very disciplined. I really like him a lot. He's real twitchy. So having a guy like that on the field while I'm on the field is going to be something I really look forward to. He's going to make a lot of plays next year. What's it like playing alongside Kalen? Uh, Kalen Bullock is a freak, man. Uh, just playing with a guy like that that can go hash to hash, uh, sideline to sideline, cover the field at safety is something that's going to be really essential to our success as a defense next year. So making sure that he stays, self stays healthy and putting him in the right spots and things like that. I think that's going to be something that's really good for us next year as well. Communication-wise, who kind of leads things on the back end or who's taking on more of a vocal role? Well, I mean, for the defense that we run, it kind of depends on the call. So I would say that all of the Bs are doing a pretty good job at communicating and getting the calls to the backers, the D-line, and things like that. So we've been pretty good as a unit. With the exception of Makai, who's played a lot, it's, it it's, it seems like it's a young group back there in the safety play. What's kind of the connection of all you guys at as a I mean, I, I can't really speak for anybody else, but the way I see it, uh, we're, one, we're just one big family. Uh, that's a lot of guys in the group trying to work. Um, I don't feel like there's anybody who's gotten complacent. Everybody wants to get better every day, no matter how many day, how many plays they made the day before. So just having guys like that is going to be something that helps us a lot as well. Have you been doing a lot of coming up and playing in the slot? Uh, yeah, I do a lot of both. So. I've been playing the nickel, the corner, and the safety spot. So. You, of course, worked with, you know, Prince at Oklahoma. Uh, what's the relationship like with Dante Williams and the right side? Uh, I mean, it's very different from the relationship I have at Grinch, I would say, because on a personal level, there's certain things that I talk about that I don't talk about with one or with the other. So uh, I think that my relationship with Tay is very vital. It was very vital to me coming to this school in the first place, as was my relationship with Grinch and the rest of the coaches. So just having a guy like that in my corner off the field is something I really was intrigued by and something I really value now that I am here. Uh, here, I mean, he he's typically coaching the D line, so uh, I haven't had a hands-on coaching moment with him. But that's my coach, you know. Uh, he coaches us on the special teams. I really look forward to talking to that guy off the field. Uh, he's still a mentor for me, so just having these guys that I've been around for a whole year uh, around me is something I really like. What are you looking forward to most?